Pwede ba mag-advertise ng architect? Take one! Napakaganda ng tanong sa atin, no, mga kamestro, no? kung uh, pwede bang mag-advertise ang mga uh, architects. No? Akin. Ang tanong sa akin ay uh, pwede bang mag-advertise ang uh, isang uh, architect no? kasi maraming uh, lumalabas no na may mga, may mga nag-advertise. So, ano ba ang sinasabi ng ating uh, code of ethics pagdating sa advertisement ng uh, isang uh, arkitekto? Sa ating uh, section 3.5 ng ating uh, 2006 code of ethics, malinaw doon na sinasabi that an architect shall not solicit nor permit to solicit in his or her name advertisement or other support towards the cost of any publication presenting his or her work. So the first sentence of that uh, section 3.5 refers to the solicitation of an architect's advertisement to support no, sa pag-present ng kanyang mga works. For example, uh, humingi siya ng uh, solicitations para i-promote ang kanyang uh, work for example sa magazines sa TV no so ipinagbabawal yan ng ating uh, uh, code of ethics no and uh, yung second sentence ng section 3.5 ito yung uh, medyo critical no kasi ito yung controversial sa ngayon no? itong sinasabi that the architect shall refrain from taking part in paid advertisement endorsing any materials of construction or building equipment okay so malinaw mga kamaestro on the second sentence ng section 3.5 ng code of ethics that an architect is not allowed to advertise construction materials magtataka tayo bakit ba hindi pwedeng mag-advertise ang isang arkitekto ng uh, construction na uh, materials no nung nakaraan lang may nagtanong sa aking uh, page no doon sa page ko na uh, Maestro's House of uh, Lectures. Tinanong din sa akin ito at ang tanong doon ay uh, Maestro, sabi nila, paano ba itong mga uh, bladders no na architects who are endorsing construction materials in their videos. Do wala naman naka-indicate na paid promotion but obvious naman na ini-endorse nila since nasa description ng video ang brand and sponsored ads pa nila no so are they liable to the code of ethics so yun ang uh, tanong okay so ang sagot natin dito is section 3.5 second sentence no malinaw naman ang sinasabi ng code of ethics that an architect should refrain from taking part in paid advertisement endorsing any materials of construction or building equipment. Ang uh, tanong dito ay paano masasabi that it is a paid advertisement. But of course, ang architect will not endorse, no? Well, sigurado yan. A professional will not endorse any construction materials in the construction companies without uh, exchange of uh, consideration. No? Sinasabi ko nga doon, uh, ang view ko dyan is uh, Payment in the paid advertisement Will not be in terms of monetary value no? Hindi lang yan uh, pera no? But of course It can also be a consideration Of immaterial thing no? In exchange of the advertisement By uh, an architect no? Kung sino man yan, blogger man yan Hindi man yan blogger As long that uh, he is a registered uh, architect as uh, provided by our Section 3.5 of the 2006 Code of Ethics, hindi ka talaga pwedeng mag-endorse ng uh, construction materials and equipment in paid advertisement. Of course, sinasabi nila, Maestro, hindi naman yan paid advertisement, no? kasi YouTube naman yan, for example, or uh, other social media platform. Of course, that is considered as paid advertisement. Bakit? 
may bayad naman sa YouTube, di ba? When uh, the ads uh, running, uh, compensated yon. No? And at the same time, syempre kung malinaw dyan, kung talagang ini-introduce mo together with the name of the companies na talagang ini-emphasize mo talaga no? as uh, an advertisement, no? So, talagang malinaw yon that uh, it violates the provisions of our uh, 2006 Code uh, of Ethics. Ano ba ang main reason no? bakit uh, ipinagbabawal ng ating uh, Code of Ethics ang pag-advertise ng isang architect sa isang uh, construction uh, material? Malaki no, ang, ang epekto niyan sa ating uh, profession no? because uh, sometimes it lowers the uh, dignity of the uh, profession. But before I will answer that, no, kung ano talaga yung uh, reason behind, marami rin nagtatanong. Architect, e paano yan? Si Architect Shamsi, no? nag-advertise din. No? Hindi ko lang alam kung anong depo. No? Pero nag-advertise din, sabi nila. No? And uh, ang reason natin dyan is, uh, Architect Shamsi Soso did not violate the Code of Ethics. Bakit? Hindi naman siya nag-advertise being an architect. Okay? Siyam si Subso advertised that construction depot as a beauty queen. Incidental na pagiging architect niya doon. So, kinuha talaga siya doon ng uh, home depot na yon as an uh, ambassador being a beauty queen and not being an architect. While uh, yung mga kaibigan nating architects ay talagang nag-advertise being an architect and not any other. No? Ang uh, For example, sa YouTube, no? kung uh, nag-advertise ka doon ng construction materials, still, you are using your talents, you are using your skills, no? you are using your knowledge of being an architect in endorsing construction materials and equipment. While kay Siyam si Subso, ang pinipresent niya lang is yung uh, construction depo lang, being an ambassador or being a beauty queen. No? So, yun ang pagkakaiba doon sa mga vlogger architects no? or sa mga social media architects and uh, compare doon sa kay architect uh, Shamsi Suso. So, ang main reason, no? ang main reason kung bakit na uh, ipinagbabawal ng ating uh, Code of Ethics no? ang uh, pag-advertise uh, ng mga construction materials dahil nagkakaroon ng epekto no? sa dignity ng ating uh, profession no example when an architect will uh, advertise or introduce materials no ang nagiging labas kasi niyan is that yung nobleness ng profession ay nawawala bakit it lowers down no it lowers down the level of that professionals into the level of merchants no nagtitinda ka ng uh, construction materials at the same time and of course being a professional uh, service no like the profession of an architects dapat ay hindi natin ilo-lower ang ating level sa level ng uh, merchants advertising its wares no so yun ang uh, pagkakaiba doon kaya ipinagbabawal sa atin sa ating code of ethics no so as to this case no, of those architects for example yung mga bloggers sa social media no these are not incidental no being uh, a blogger Since the primary credential for those are of being an architect and therefore the skills, no? sinasabi ko, the skills uh, as well as the knowledge, the manner of uh, soliciting clients in behalf of those suppliers were derived because they are holding such noble title architect. And therefore, to avoid or to be avoided, to have it lowered down no? to a level of merchants, hence, This manner of advertisement is a bad taste that is considered as lowering the dignity of the profession and reprehensible. No? So, dapat maingat tayo. No? Kasi sa yun sa reason no? kung bakit uh, hindi tayo uh, allow mag-advertise. Uh, no? Lalo na uh, it is a paid advertisement. So, using our skills. No? Binabayaran ng mga uh, suppliers. Okay? So, mali na sa ating... Uh, Code of Ethics, no, that uh, architects is not allowed. No? Ang uh, sinasabi na, eh kung hindi naman ako architect, blogger pa rin ako, pwede naman ako mag-advertise. Di wala tayong problema doon. No? Kasi kung blogger ka, hindi ka naman arkitekto, wala kang violation sa Code of Ethics dahil hindi ka na parte 
ng profession ng uh, architecture. So, wala tayong problema doon. But, uh, being an architect and at the same time, a blogger, for example, or an influencer, no, kung kahit sino pa yan, no, under our code of ethics, it is a violation to engage in a paid advertisement, lalo na sa pag-introduce ng mga construction materials and equipments. Dahil malinaw sa ating 2006 code of ethics. So, I hope that uh, this issue no, would clear dito sa uh, advertisement na ginagawa ng ating mga uh, kaibigan sa uh, industriya. Okay? So, till next time, mga kamaestro, uh, sana'y uh, magamit natin ito sa ating uh, pamumuhay, no, sa ating profession, at maging maingat tayo sa sunod no, sa ating mga uh, ginagawa sa uh, ating uh, profession, sa profession ng architecture. So, magandang gabi sa lahat, and till next time.